Okay, a quick analysis on Mr. Angel Colon and the fact that he used, a sh there was a shotgun used and the fact that he was hit in the hand. Now, I'll just play this bit just to, for those you don't know, just to prove that he was shot by a, sh a shotgun according to him in the hand. Shooting at everyone. And I can hear the, sh uh, the shotguns closer and I look over and he shoots the girl next to me. And I'm just there laying down, I'm thinking, I'm next, I'm dead. So I don't know how, but by the glory of God, he shoots towards my head, but it hits my hand. So there you go. From that video, you, he mentions a shotgun, he mentions he gets shot, shot in the hand. Now, my idea is that the only way you could say you got shot in the hand, if it was a shotgun, and I'm no ballistics expert, expert, but I'm guessing maybe a pellet might have nicked his hand or something. Because that's the only reason you can really explain this next video showing his hands perfectly well. You know, that's the only reason I can see how his hand is, was not affected. That was a tiny nick of a pellet. Let's have a look at this. Just look at his hands. I had three shots here. Look, perfectly mobile hands. My left leg was trampled. Nothing wrong with him whatsoever. Uh, And there's a so called policeman to help him. So, going on the basis he got it wrong, that he mistaked a shotgun, but that's not in any of the police reports or the media reports. I got this from Russian Vids. It um, looks like some official writing on what was used a SIG saw automatic rifle and a 9mm Glock. Now, going on that assumption that he mixed them up to be shot by a high-powered velocity um, rifle in the hand. I think that would cause a tiny bit of damage. Um, not this, what we see. Mr. Hands that can hug people and, and put them together around somebody and As you can see, shaking people's hands, lifting them in the air. And let's go for, hear what the FBI said about the guns. Individual believed to be responsible for the terror attack at the Orlando Club Pulse early Sunday morning has been identified as Omar Mir Sadiq Martin, age 29, an American citizen born in New York. He is not a prohibited person, so he can legally walk into a gun dealership and acquire and purchase firearms. He did so, and he did so within the last week or so, but he did purchase two firearms, a handgun and a long gun within the last few days. Two firearms he purchased, a handgun and a long gun. The FBI first became... Let's have a listen to what... Um, what... A high-powered weapon would do to flesh, according to one of the surgeons at the Orlando Hospital, talking about the situation. Let's hear what they would say. They say about what a weapon would do to flesh. We had uh, gunshot wounds to the chest, gunshot wounds to the abdomen, to the extremities, uh, most fairly severe because of the high-velocity projectiles. What do you mean by that? Well, this uh, was an assault rifle. Uh, and so this is a, a military weapon, and so the, the bullets uh, have a lot more energy to them, a lot more speed, uh, and so they cause more tissue injury. There's an individual who required multiple... Op more tissue injury. So this guy here... All we can say is... He got the, the, the so-called shotgun mixed up with a high-velocity rifle. You can get a, a shotgun mixed up with a pistol. Left leg was trampled. See these hands? How can a hand be shot 
with a high velocity rifle and be doing that. So, basically, Mr. Colon, does he have amazing angel hands that do miraculous things? Or is Mr. Colon just full of crap? I know which way I'm thinking, and all I can say is a bad smell in the air.